Hi everyone, so my name is Maxine um, and in today's lesson we're going to be um, learning a few melodies, so a few short pieces um, and putting everything that we've learned so far in level one together. So yes, you do need a piano um, and I hope you have fun. Let's get started. All right, so the purpose of today's lesson is to put all the skills that you guys have been learning together. So the skills of reading notes and um, finger skills such as your scales and your triads and also the rhythm that you've been learning about. And we want to put all of this together and start learning some melodies. So for today I have three songs and I'm going to show you first Mary Had a Little Lamb, second Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and third When the Saints Go Marching In. So for each of these pieces, I would recommend going to the link under the video and printing out each of these copies of the pieces. So first I'm going to play the piece for you and then I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over it with you. I'm going to show you the notes. Um, you're going to be able to follow the motions that my hands are making on the piano and then you can learn it that way if you want, and then I would suggest playing this maybe two times with me, but as once you're starting to get a little bit more comfortable, I would suggest then turning to the sheet music that you've printed out and becoming fully confident with, uh, with the song through the sheet music. So I want you to try and read the sheet music so then you can put all of that together, your note naming and your playing, and then once you're done that and once you're comfortable with that, then I want you to take a look at the rhythm of the songs and I will also go over that with you. All right, so let's get started. The first song is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so I hope you guys are familiar with that song. So, let's go over it together. So, put your hands on the middle C of the piano, okay? So with this song, we're only going to use the first uh, five notes from C to G. Um, you guys will be com comfortable with these because you have been playing the C major scale. So, I'm going to tell you the notes as I'm playing them and you can follow along. So we're going to go start on E, okay? That's this note. So we're going to E, D, C, D. a big jump to G and we're gonna go back to E E D C D E E E E D D E D C All right so you guys can go ahead and pause the video and play that again and then get comfortable with it and then once you're feeling a little bit more comfortable then take a look at the sheet music that you have the printout for and start playing the song and taking a look at the sheet music while you're doing that. And then, then you will feel more comfortable about it. All right. Okay. And then the next piece we're going to play is called Twinkle Twinkle. All right. So this is what it sounds like. So I hope that you guys are familiar with this song as well. So what I want you guys to notice about this song, um, you can take a look at the sheet music right now, is that um, once you get to, once you play the C and the E, so, and once you reach A, if you take a look at the notes, you see that it goes down one note until you get to C. So, okay, some of the notes are repeated, but it's the idea that this is, uh, a descending C major scale almost. So remember when you guys learned the C major scale? You'll notice that the notes of this song going is also part of the C major scale, just slightly different. So you guys should be comfortable with that. 
All right, let's give it a go. So we're gonna start on C. And a lot of these notes um, are played twice. So we're gonna go C, C, and then a big jump to G. G, G, A, A, G. This one's held because it's a half note, not a quarter note. I'll repeat that later. F, F, E, E, D, D. And then cross your index finger over your thumb to get to the C and hold it. That's also a half note. Then we're gonna put our fifth fingers on G. G, G, F, F, E, E, D, and hold that half note. And then we're gonna go back to the G. G, G, F, F, E, E, D, hold that. And we're gonna repeat the same thing. C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. All right, so that is Twinkle Twinkle. It is a bit of a longer song, but you will see that a lot of it's quite similar in that it's um, the, once you get up from, then it's a uh, descending C major scale, all right? So I want you to pause, the, I want you to try this again while following me for the uh, first two times you play this. And then I want you to take a break and then look at the sheet music and try and follow the sheet music when you're playing this. And then once you're comfortable with that, I want you to take a look at the rhythm. So this is in C major. So it doesn't have any of these black notes or anything. It's just um, a, only the white notes from C to C. And then it is in 4-4 four, four timing, meaning that there are four beats per bar. And most of these notes are quarter notes. These are the black notes with the uh, stem that goes up. But then there are some that are half notes, which I mentioned. So all of these um, are quarter notes. But then this is a half note because you hold it for two. So in the second bar, if you take a look, there are two quarter notes. And then it goes down to G, and then that's a half note. So then that is equal to two beats. So the half note is two beats, and the quarter notes are each one beat. So that adds up to four beats. Okay? And there's just you can keep on taking a look, and then you can see the quarter, the quarter notes are the ones you play um, at uh, your speed, and then the half notes are played a little bit longer. Okay, so... For it's if, if you guys are feeling tired, you can go ahead and call it a day. But for those who are still wanting to learn more, um, I can show you this song, When the Saints Go Marching In. So this one incorporates some of the C major triads that you were playing last lesson. All right, so this is what it sounds like. So, for this one, there are some, um, some triads. So, let's play it again, and then I'll show you. The triad is when it goes... That is a C major triad. So, when we start the song, it goes C, E, F, and then, the, and then it's a chord, the C major chord. So, you play all three of the notes, okay? And we repeat that. C, E, F, G. C. And this one's not a, tri a triad, but it goes G, E, C, which is the notes of the triads. It's just separated this time. And we go to E, D, then we go E, E, D, C, C, E, G, G, F, F, E, F, G, E, C. So, this one's a little bit more advanced, just because it's got the triad in it, but it's not quite as long as Twinkle Twinkle. So, go ahead and play this again with me, and then try it while looking at the sheet music. And noticing the triads, which you were learning last time. So this one is also in C major, and then it's 4-4 four, four timing. And you'll notice that there are some um, notes that are held longer, so it goes... C, E, 
down, and then the triads are held for a full four beats, okay? I want you to notice that. And then it's more quarter notes. And then you've got the triad that you're holding for four full beats. And then, and then you have some half notes, so G, E, so two half notes in a bar is equal to four beats. And we're, so the next one is C and E, which are both half notes, adding up to a full four beats. And then you go to uh, D, and then that one is held for four beats, okay? And then you can keep on looking at those, okay? You'll notice in the second bar, on the very, uh, sorry, on the second row on the very far right, there is a C note that has a dot beside it. That just means in that situation that it's uh, uh, going to be held for three beats, okay? So that one's held for three beats, and then you play the quarter note, adding up to four beats. All right. So we've got those, those three different pieces. So we've got Mary Had a Little Lamb, and we've got Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, and When the Saints Go Marching In. And hopefully you guys knew those to begin with, but hopefully you can play those more comfortably now. Um, and I hope that you could take a look at the sheet music as well and put some of your note reading skills to play and also take a look at the rhythm and just kind of put everything together because uh, these might be some of the first few songs you guys have played, um, maybe also looking at the sheet music, but um, I hope that it all made sense and you guys had fun doing it. Um, and you know what, this is the this is the start because you're, you're almost there. So great work um, and thank you very much. All right, so as I said, thank you for watching. Um, and for next time, you guys can play those pieces again. Or if you want to have some more practice, I've uploaded another link underneath the uh, video. So you can go ahead and follow that link and start playing that song on your own. Um, otherwise, for everyone else, um, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And I hope to see you next time.